Hello, I'm Leanne from Iran and Neighbourhood House. I'm the manager here. And we've developed um, some partnerships with uh, Knoxbrook uh, this year. And this is one of our pilot programs. It's called Safety Awareness. And it's the first time we've done it here with, um, with Knoxbrook. And we hope to do it next year. So it's been successful. Anyone seem to have a good time? And, uh, and I'll hand you over to Linda. Hi, my name's Linda Challens and I'm with the CFA in the Lilydale office. We've been working with Knoxbrook and the gang here to develop some home fire safety awareness. We've had so far had four sessions, which have been absolutely fantastic. Everybody's made the great posters and learned about home fire safety. And we've made the video today and we hope that we can continue on with the great partnership that we formed with Knoxbrook and Arana Neighbourhood House. Hi, my name's Katrina Welsby. Hi, my name is Katrina Welsby, and this is take two. <laughs> um, I'm doing fire safety in the house, putting meshes in front of the fire so you don't get burnt. And um, if little kids get anywhere close to the heater, um, either move them away a little bit or put a mesh in front of the heater. And what have we got in this one up here, Katrina? And don't put clothes too close to the heater, otherwise they burn. Put like a um, door in front of the heater or a mesh and put the clothes about one metre away, which is one foot length away. And what, what have we got up here? And, we, and up here we've got um, stickers to dial the police, ambulance or fire brigade. And what's the number? Um, it's triple O in an emergency. As you can see the clothes horse is way too close to the heater, virtually on top of it. So all you need to do is just push the um, clothes horse one metre away, just one foot length away, and it doesn't get burnt. Hello, my name's Meg Needham. I, I did the poster of Get Down One and Go, Go, Go. Fire safety. And what have we got on the poster here, Meg? That is the fire point. That's fire. There's a smoke alarm, there's a fire blanket. Very good. And what's this man doing over here? Crawling. Why? Because the smoke came through. Okay, and what do you do when smoke? Get down low and go, go, go. Very good. This is a smoke alarm and this is what it sounds like. This is what I do when there's smoke in the house. My name's Timothy. We're going to put the fire blanket on the fire there. So what's your poster about here, Tim? Fire blanket. Fire blanket. And when, when do you use a fire blanket? When you put it out on the fire. For putting out small fires, that's and right. Out small fires. And what have we got here? What are these little stickers? To ring triple O for the point. So when, when do you ring triple O? When there's a fire. When there's a fire. Excellent. Okay, show them how you get the fire blanket out. Right there. I'm pulling my two handles like this. Now stop. Make sure your hands are covered. Cover it like you have, very gently, mm -hmm. and then pretend you're turning off the stove. Yeah. So cover it up. And turn off the stove. Yeah. Fantastic. Excellent. Do not sniff the cover and peep. You might start the fire again. You need to ring triple over and make sure the fire's out. Um, my name is Catherine. Um, I want to talk about the um, amazing the about the fire. Um, my friend made the, the weather box. 
for the main bed. Um, and then this is her house. Um, that's my mum's room, Jeremy's room, living room, the family room. Because if if you go to through a laundry, like if you feel the the door is hot, the handle's hot, then then you have to go through the window and smash it. The people had to go to the matron to the other box. Fantastic. And then what do you do? They're called tri triple eyes. This is Sarah Laycock. Sarah's got a sore throat today, so I'm going to be Sarah's voice. Sarah's done the poster on stop, drop and roll. So if you or your clothes catch fire, what do you do, Sarah? You stop, stop. you drop, drop, and then you roll. Stop, stand still like Sarah's doing. If your clothes are on fire, then drop to the ground. Cover your face with your hands and roll from side to side until all the flames are out. Okay. Say hello, my name is James. My name is James. And I'm talking to you today about home fire safety in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Very good. People have been cooking and they've left the cooking yeah. on the stove, haven't they? Yeah. So what do they need to do if they're cooking and they need to answer the door? Turn the stove off. Turn the stove off. That's very good. That's right, James. And what other things can people use if they have um, a fire in the kitchen? Fire blanket. They can use a fire blanket or fire, fire extinguisher. Very good. Do you want to show us how to cook and turn the stove off if, there's an, if you need to answer the phone? Okay, very good. Stop answering the phone. Stop. 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 Answer the phone. Thank ah. <laughs> Hello. The uh, safety skills program at Arana, I think the ladies and gentlemen have learned a lot. They've not only have they done fire safety skills and awareness, they've also been to police station. They did safety skills on the computer. I believe next term they're going to look at some basic first aid training. The whole purpose of getting involved today is to teach people about home fire safety and bring it out to the broader community. It was also a great way of the people who worked at Knoxbrook to actually come along and learn home fire safety in a different environment as well.